Good morning. Soraida Herrera has just arrived at a local gas station, but not to gas up. Today was the annual inspection. It's every 12 months. Where do you want to start? Soraida is an environmental health specialist with the County of San Diego, and her specialty is underground storage tanks. I've always wanted to be in hazmat, either emergency responders or this USTs or non-retail sites. I do inspections to verify compliance with the UST regulations, state regulations. She works alongside a company the business owner has hired to test the alarm system that monitors the double wall storage tanks. It monitors leaks either from the primary tank to the secondary containment or intrusion from groundwater from the outside towards the space in between the primary and the secondary tank. The process starts with the technicians. They open all the sumps, they open dispensers and they're not allowed to touch anything. When I get here, Everything is ready to start inspection. First, I take a look at the sumps. I have to verify the location of the sensors. I also verify the sensors in the fill sumps and in the under dispenser containment. So that would be the space or the box underneath the dispenser or the gas pump. Armed with a readout from the monitoring system that explains what each sensor does, the testing begins. Dip it in water to pretend the sensor came into contact with water. Then we have to see the alarm in the monitoring system and we do that for every single sensor. It's a repetitive process. The vibration from the pump lets her know if it's on or off, and she communicates this with a thumbs up or thumbs down. It's all part of her job to keep the environment safe. We don't want to find out that our drinking water well is contaminated and then have to realize, oh, this is coming from this gas station or from the underground storage tank at this facility. To prevent that, we do testing annually constantly and they also are required to do some monthly testing, well, not testing, just inspection, to make sure that they're still in good compliance. On this day at this gas station, not everything passed inspection. One lining detector failed. They had 30 days to show me compliance. And we tell them, we have, you have to fix it right away or immediately. That way we are not allowing them to be out of compliance for 30 days. She also makes sure that any hazardous materials are properly stored. So if there's any spill, they have to clean it up. They usually use absorbent and then they have to pick it up, right? And have it in a drum and label it. And we also check for those labels in the hazardous ways and that they dispose of that hazardous waste in a proper way. So Aida enjoys her job, even though she doesn't get to interact a lot with the public. I like that I can protect the public even if they don't know I'm doing it, I'm glad I'm doing it. So the next time your favorite gas station is wrapped in caution tape, Soraida might be there doing her job to keep the environment clean and safe. For CTN.org, I'm Jose Villanueva.